5 and today I'm showing you guys how to get cheap stuff on eBay mainly sneakers and shoes with my few tips so if you want to subscribe for more of these videos or other links or free bots or free at your card services or anything make sure to click below subscribe or the annotation and you'll be updated every time I upload an informative video so let's get into this and I'll be splitting this video into about two parts and I'm gonna be talking about how to get shoes cheap on eBay and how you do this so as you can see here I won this Nike Dunk High Pro SB in that game royal colorway and as we can see here um, original listing these shoes actually retailed if you searched up for ninety five dollars and I got these new with a box and they're authentic they don't really make fake SBs but well, unless they're limited for forty seven dollars and these are authentic so the first thing you have to consider is do I need the shoe or not even that but because no one really needs a shoe like I mean people need shoes but they don't need Jordan so what you have to consider is can I get a return if I do not like this and I do not mean like actually getting a refund for what you buy but actually if you wear it like 10 times if you grow out of it or if you just don't really like it that much then you can actually sell it to someone else and not lose that much money and you can still save thirty dollars because this is retailing for ninety five dollars I get it for forty seven dollars if I don't like it after I wear it a few times I can still sell for around twenty five to thirty dollars and lose maybe ten dollars and get a few wears in. so that's the first thing you have to consider second of all you have to read the description make sure that it says it is authentic if you're trying to buy an authentic pair of shoes if you're not that's fine but if you are make sure it says that if it doesn't then you're not protected so what you want to do is if you're not sure you want to email the buyer so how you can do this is let's just say it's this guy um, soul rebel uh, soul rebel and then you just click contact and then you can go from there so just contact him ask him if it's authentic and take a screenshot just to confirm that you have actually asked him and he's replied with a yes if it says no then don't buy it if you're looking for an authentic pair but if he does then that means you are protected with proof and another thing is some people say in the description that you can get a better deal like let's say just pretend that these were um, Jordan 11's and they're going for like two, 270 that was the the buy it now price and in the description it says 250 shipped message me go message the guy cause you can save twenty dollars with about a minute's worth of typing in an email so just do that because if you buy a lot of shoes over the course of a year you will save a lot of money doing that so just make sure to read because you can find a lot of stuff just by reading so my third tip is well first of all you have to look online but so let me just run through this on ebay.com you can search up stuff like Nike so let's just search that up then we go to men's shoes and then we go to oh those are oh, shoot those new oh um and then we go to US shoe sizes and then we find your size obviously unless you want to just resell like a popular size but 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9 I can grow in 2 and then we apply this and you'll get your shoe size and you guys know how to do this but and what we're going to do here is do three things ending soonest newly listed and lowest first So, what you want to do with, you know, you don't even need, um, newly listed, but what you want to do first is go into the lowest first, 
and as you can see here you can just see these Jordan 4's that haven't released yet and someone already bid on them so this is a smart move the smart move is to bid on them right away if it's 99 cents if you want the shoe obviously if, you, if it's something trash then do not do this but if it's something that you can invest in something that you want and something that's like actually worth getting then just bid right away with 99 cents but that's all you have to do do not bid further until the end and I'll explain that right after this but the reason we do this is because if you have a really good deal and you just want to lock in a spot basically you should do this because if no one bids what happens is if the seller realizes shoot I might lose out or I might not get the money that I want then he can take it down because no one has bid yet and no one has confirmed that they want the shoe but if someone does bid it eBay does not allow you to take down the post so that's a very very nice advantage especially if there's no like reserve price on these so that's the first thing you should do but during the next three days because this is ending in three days do not bid anymore even if someone outbids you there's no point to retaliate until the very end to win the shoe you know like people say you can lose battles but you can win the war this is kind of what they're talking about except they weren't necessarily referring to this um, so as you can see here someone takes up 104 cents do you really care uh, I mean a dollar and four cents do you really care no because there's still three days left but what people do is they care so much that they'll just start retaliating so it's 104 then someone drives it up to like 109 and then it just keeps going and going and it's exponential because as the actual bid price goes up the margin in between each bid goes up so it's an exponential growth in price and we're trying to get shoes for cheap we do not want to as a as a buyer as buyers we do not want to pay more for what we want we want the best deal so when you want a shoe do not fight with the other sell it, the buyers for it uh, just let them have their current position until the very end and if at the end these go for like these are at 150 let's say and that's pretty unlikely but 150 with 30 minutes left what you want to do is click place bid or just wait until like 10 minutes actually just click here sit on them for like 10 minutes come back with a minute left and just enter in so if it's still 150 or if it's like 160 now and the highest you will pay is 180 then put in something like 180.84 because a lot of people what they do is they put like 180 0.01 so they think they're like clever I can win but what you do is you actually have a higher spot than them on eBay's list because you're obviously willing to pay more this is your max bid and you click place max bid with um, with like three seconds left so moderate do not like lose focus if this is a shoe you really want and realize that it is really worth it just click place max bid with three seconds left you will likely win just like I did mine and that's how I want it so the times to bid only at the beginning to lock in the seller and only at the end to win those are the only two battles that matter in order to win the war aka the shoe so my next tip this is ending soon sometimes you can find something and that's what I was talking about uh, and that's really how you do this so I'll have more information in the next video but this might even be a three-part video so if you like this type of video make sure to subscribe I am doing more of these I'll do how to resell shoes how to bargain anything so if you guys have any questions comments or concerns just email me at iwang82k.com or better yet comment them down below because I'll get back to you very fast. And 
if you need an edge card service or a bot those are very successful as you can see on my site in the proofs tab so just go there iwangh2k.com and you can check those out so subscribe and head over to my website if you want to get shoes almost guaranteed I'll see you guys next time this is iwang815 at iwang2k.com